Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm pleased to present you the final results of our flyer trial on behalf of the German Lymphoma Alliance. In the flyer trial, we investigated the randomized comparison of four cycles of RCHOP plus two cycles of rituximab versus six cycles of RCHOP in young patients with favorable prognosis of diffuse large B-cell lymphoma. With regard to the background, we know from the MINT trial that there is a patient population with an excellent prognosis. Those patients present with age-adjusted IPI of zero and in the absence of bulky disease. Those patients had a three-year progression-free survival of 95% in the MINT trial. Therefore, it was our aim to investigate in the FLYER trial whether we could maintain efficacy and reduce toxicity by reduction of top cycles. Here you can see the design of our uh, study. Patients were eligible for frontline treatment of aggressive lymphoma, B-cell lymphoma, if they were up to 60 years of age, had limited stage disease, an age-adjusted IPI of zero, and no bulk, defined as a maximum tumor diameter of less than 7.5 centimeters. Patients were randomized to receive either six cycles of RCHOP21 or four cycles of RCHOP21 plus two cycles rituximab. And this is the result for our primary endpoint progression-free survival. The medium follow-up time was 66 months. At three years, progression-free survival after six cycles of our job was 94%, with a 95% confidence interval ranging from 91 to 97%. After four cycles of our job, Progression-free survival at three years was 96% with a 95% confidence interval ranging from 94 to 99%. As the lower limit of the 95% confidence interval of our experimental arm was 94%, it is shown that it is definitely non-inferior to the standard arm six cycles of our job. These are the results for overall survival. There's also no difference between the two arms. At three years, overall survival after six cycles of our job was 98%, and it was 99% after four cycles of our job. Let's have a look at toxicity. First of all, the total number of hematological adverse events. Six cycles our job led to a higher toxicity in, with respect to leukocytopenia and anemia, both of any grades and also of grades three to four, in contrast to four cycles of our job. The reduction was about one third. And now coming to the total number of non-hematological adverse events, you see that after six cycles of our job, a total of 1,295 adverse events were reported of any rate, and in contrast, four, after four cycles of our job, 835 adverse events have been reported. This means that an overall reduction of non-hematological adverse events could be reached for about a third. And this was the case in the most common adverse events as paresthesia, nausea, infection, vomiting, and mucositis, both in toxicities of any grade, but also in toxicities of grade three to four. To conclude, in younger patients with favorable prognosis of aggressive B-cell lymphoma, efficacy with four cycles of r chop plus two cycles of rituximab as non-inferior to the previous standard of six cycles r -shop. Adverse events with four cycles were reduced by about a third, which means a significant benefit for patients, and the relapse pattern is similar in both arms with longer follow-up.